Hey, good people. If you want the Outbreak Perfected Pulse Rifle, here's a full guide for the normal difficulty zero hour mission. All right, first things first, make sure you go to 801 and pick up the actual quest step and quest in the tower so you can get this going and actually get your Outbreak Perfected. After you do that, you select it from your destinations tab. Right now it's gonna be under the Into the Light tab. I'm sure they're gonna move it to Legends later. All right, now the other thing you really need to focus on is what the burn is. Of course, that's important, all right? Why? Because it's also going to tell you what the answer to your pathway puzzle is gonna be later, but there's another way to see that that I'll get into later. And just make sure that you know, you got 40 minutes to complete this. You gotta get it done before 40. Other things to consider that you might want to know going in. The biggest damage that's going to be coming at you is Arc. Arc is the most shields you're going to see. And that's the most damage you're going to take. Second is Solar. So second most shields you'll see is Solar. And third is Void. Not that many Void. So it's in that order. All right. When you start off here, don't waste any time, right? Just follow me in my paths here. I'm going to go through here. You don't have to worry about Greg the Drag there. He's going to get freaking Halo assassinated. And you want to look for this vent here. If you want to be really PvE sweaty about it, you could hop and skip and jump while you're in the vents to go a little faster. Here is your first combat room, all right? So things you want to know here. You're going to have a bunch of invis dudes who are going to rush you. So you want to make sure you take care of them with whatever special you have equipped. Fusions are great for that. And whatever charge melee you might have. So things to prioritize in this room are gonna be snipers after those invis guys who are going to rush you. They are going to rush you, you can't help that, okay? Next thing is make sure that you prioritize the snipers on the right side. There's gonna be some fallen captains there and then you're gonna have a whole bunch of shanks and another fallen captain with some vandal marauders who are gonna be trying to snipe you. So just use this cover and make sure you work your way through them as fast as you can. This is where having a grenade launcher like that that can blind them is actually a very beautiful thing to have. It will save your cheeks, y'all, I promise. All right, after you clear the last enemy here, pick up any ammo that you might need and just get going. All right, next part is up the steps and out into the plaza. And here, you're gonna have a lot more shank snipers you're gonna have to worry about. So you might wanna take them out from cover first, so you don't have to worry about them first. All right, so there's gonna be one in the middle. There's gonna be two on that farthest back wall from you when you enter there's one yeah you will be taking hits from everything in front of you but we can deal with that in a second so in here as you can see you're going to have arc shields and a lot of arc in here but this that's pretty much true for the whole thing so after you take out those enemies in front of you now just pick off what you can from cover at the bottom of the steps all right, on this corner here, just keep taking out the shanks and you will see you'll have one more sniper in that back left corner. So after you clear that side, you're gonna have more enemies here on your right. All right, and here we go. You're gonna have another big heavy shank in the back. So two heavy shanks so far, a whole freaking bunch of smaller shanks. You're gonna have snipers, shanks, three of them so far. All right, after you take out that group of shanks, you will see that there's actually a brick here with some vandals in the back. The vandals aren't too bad to get rid of if you have something that has an add clear perk to it. But just to cover your back, you might wanna take this heavy shank out first. Polaris makes real short work of that. After you do that, now you can start working on the brick. All right. When that brick is out, that means you should have cleared all your enemies if you went the same uh, route that I did about it. All right, so you make your way around the corner, come over to this opening, and now you're gonna jump up 
and you're gonna go through two more openings. And this collapsed building, go ahead, crawl your way through. Running and sliding helps you shave little tiny bits of seconds off of it, and you'll come to this opening in the hangar bay. All right, you'll have sniper shanks, you'll have vandals who can snipe. So you can take out a bunch from here, right here at these stairs, take out as much as you can see. So you won't have snipers when you go out of cover. So see, I got everything I can. Now there's a lot of solar shields in here. So keep that in mind. And you just need one solar explosion. Look at that. Look at that. One solar explosion, everything goes boom. Use a super here if you need to as well. You just want to clear this stuff fast. You're going to have two servitors here. It's going to protect a bunch of vandals and a bunch of solar shanks. If you want the breakdown, it's going to be a few more vandals might be lower that you didn't see. And the main stars in here are going to be two more servitors down here. And that tank, of course, is the worst thing to worry about. All right, so precision damage to the servitors. There you go, doing damage. All right, make sure you stay mobile, y'all. Stay mobile and take cover. Okay, a little bit of heavy. There you go. Once that's done, grab your ammo and go up these steps at the bottom. Right here to your left, you're gonna see a captain and you're gonna see some vandals. They're gonna charge you some are invis, so be careful about that. This is going to be an arc shield on this resilient captain It's going to run at you once you clear all of them there's going to be more sniper vandals in this room that you want to take out from as many as you can clear from right to left in this doorway this is why i was telling you scouts anything like that they can do good precision damage is really great you're going to have one heavy shank in the middle of the room and don't forget this whole walkway here is going to have snipers but once you get all of them you'll see that barrier come down and go ahead and run on through all right keep making your way downtown you're going to just follow this path that i'm running there's a lot of down the steps and just down the steps remember yellow is usually a very good sign of where to go so go ahead make your way up the steps now you have a few little enemies over here trying to slow you down. This is mostly drags and invisible vandals. All right, boom, get them out of here. And watch out for snipers, another visible vandal. Okay, see, told you. A lot of fake old predators here. You're gonna have a couple more drags waiting to jump you when you get down to this landing. Follow the doorway. More drags waiting for you. More drags waiting for you. Big surprise there, right? Okay, if you got them all, make sure you check your radar that you got them all. That barrier is going to drop. And again, see yellow. Follow the yellow and make it to this M room over here. Slide right under. And you're going to fall down this elevator shaft. You see these two little metal plates? That's telling you exactly where to go into these vents. When you come out into this room in the hangar, drop down all the way to your left and aim for the bottom of this ship. Yellow again, and then drop down and look for a vent on your right. Drop down that vent, and you're gonna see a nice little thin hallway you wanna squeeze through, jump up, I didn't mean to do that. And then when you come in here, go all the way left and start shooting out the yellow grates. In here, remember the first one on your right. Shoot that out, drop directly under you and down and into this red lit passage, okay? Drop down again and into the vent and you'll see another little skinny passage you wanna take. Now you're gonna be outside and you're going to want to watch out for this sniper right here. So take cover. Take cover right there. Behind that thing that's holding up this crane or elevator, whatever you want to call it. All right, jump across. And the path that you need to take, you're going to have to look down. For most people, it's going to be safe to jump down there. Then jump there and jump over here. 
Keep in mind that as soon as you touch these, it's gonna fall. So you have to be quick about your jumps, all right? So since I'm on a warlock and I'll be floating, I usually try to risk it and go over here because then I know I can do this and hopefully not die. And when you jump down, aim for this thing, okay? Aim for this thing. You, you will be able to see the tip of it from down there. Okay, so you aim there, you wanna fall there. You're gonna have two yellow snipers, yellow bar snipers you want to worry about here. Make sure you take them out because they will kill you trying to jump across. If you're confused as to where they are, there's one up high and there's one a little bit lower. So take them both out from a safe distance. They can't shoot you from here. But as soon as you jump over what you need to, they will be able to shoot you. All right, so go ahead and make your way jumping over. Okay, take your time with these jumps. Be careful. All right, and keep going platform by platform. All right, and once you get here, if you're the first one to drop down, you hit that switch so that you can extend this platform to make it easier for people jump up above you at the end and look for these red boxes and jump up above you again into these vents all right now keep making your way downtown you're gonna get to this elevator shaft looking place all right follow me remember one jump two jump three jump four jump five jump and you wanna be on the right side of where you entered. All right, this is where you wanna be. Remember I said that, five jumps and you wanna end up on the right side of where you entered, shoot out the grates, and you will be going the right way. Now, be careful. You wanna drop down through these fans, but first you wanna get rid of these damn exploder shanks. So it's good to have something like a grenade launcher when you drop down here, but beforehand, you could look down and shoot a few of them to make this easier for you. See why I said a grenade launcher? And then always look for the little red cutout, and that's how you drop down. So you wanna look for the red cutout, slow yourself down, shoot, look for the red cutout, slow yourself down, shoot, and you make it to the bottom, boom, boom, boom. You wanna go into the vents, and here you want to jump down and to your right be very careful with your jumps all right you just want to go to these lit up walls the hardest jump is going to be here at the end make sure you jump out and towards it so you don't hit your head against that left wall if you do it right you'll get into that open doorway hit that switch to make those jumps easier for the people behind you It'll get some passageways out there for them. Make your way through the vents. All right, and down some more vents. Okay, and when you're in here, the ARC subsystem, everybody's favorite, Trevor. <laughs> Trevor the pissed off robot. All right, to the right, you're gonna see the vents where you drop down. Once you drop down, look to your right again. Drop down some more vents. The secret here is here, or try to see where Trevor went. If he's on the right, drop down to the right and run behind him like I'm doing. Or if he's on the left like he was for me just now, drop down and run left behind him so that you can have the least resistance from him. Because you have to hit these four switches. There's gonna be one in each corner of the room. So front left, front right, and back left, back right. And they're split into like four squares, okay? So you see how these passageways are taking you? I already did back left. This is front left. That's two switches down. You gotta hit four to be able to open the main door to get the hell up out of here. So follow the green lights to the front and keep going around. It's good to watch your back and make sure Trevor's not coming. If you see red light at any time, dip into something like that and wait for him to pass. So I'm just running behind him. So that way, I don't see him coming at me. So here's the next 
That's the front right switch. And I should only have one more switch to hit, right? So one more, I'm gonna wait for this electricity wall to go down. And I'm gonna go for the last switch. All right, that should be, this should be what? Uh, back right. After you hit this switch, if you did it correctly, now it's time to watch your back and make it all the way to the green lights in the front. If you're ever confused to where the front is, those signs will point you to the front. So now I'm making my way to the front. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I'm going this way. I hope he doesn't come towards me. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, if you see him coming, you gotta go into some type of cut into the, the walls or something. Red light, whenever you see red light, go. All right, like that. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> All right, nice. See, beat Trevor, no problem. All right, take one of these elevators. I always do the front left and just wait until you get high enough. You're going to have to wait a little bit. Also, keep in mind that you can jump up on these. If you don't want to wait for an elevator, you can just keep jumping on those. But you want to take an elevator or jump up here. So when you see this and jump when you can make it on here, because if you wait, too long it's gonna drop you back down and kill you once you get to the top shoot out that left grate right slow your jump down before you get all the way to the bottom of that slide by jumping so you don't die at the end of it okay and you saw me i went down and to the right before those yellow steps i went into a vent on my right that'll lead you into the vanguard vault Okay, this is the exit of the Vanguard Vault, okay? That's the exit. But if you want to know where you're gonna have to go, what the tile pattern is, it will always be on these walls before you go through here on normal only, not on legend. All right, that's very important. So now you know which way to go. Now you gotta go that exact way or you're gonna burn up nice and crispy, okay? So now that I know which way to go, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then all the way across, that's four and one up, done. That, that's what was on the wall. Make sure when you get to this side, Hit this lever right here so that the people behind you will have a few minutes so that they can run through that puzzle without it killing them. So if you got people trailing right behind you, hit that to help them out. Once you see the box where Outbreak Perfected is, go to your right and drop down the bright glowing freaking hole. And there's only one way to go from here. Once you do, up the steps, up the steps, and then once you get to this open area right here at this bottom, you can do a rally banner. Guess what? It's boss room time, all right? This is when it's gonna get crazy. After you rally, you drop in here, it's all hell in a cell, no holes bars, and everything is gunning for you. You got snipers on your front right, front left, these things are turrets that will shoot you with arc energy if you're too close. You got dregs all around you throwing grenades and shooting at you. But you want to prioritize the snipers on front left and front right. And watch those grenades because they will get you pretty easily. They love throwing grenades. All right. After you get these sniper vandals out of your face, Clear whatever dregs are around you so you can stop those grenades flying at you that will be on your left and to the right of you. And what you can do to like help yourself out here is you can work on these turrets afterwards so that you don't have to worry about them anymore. So I like to just work on these turrets, get them out of my face so that the boss can't get you because that's the boss right there. All right, if you want to take out both turrets, just so you know, you got peace of mind. Use whatever you got at your disposal to do that quick and nasty. All right, so turrets down. 
Now, after that happens, you want to pelt the boss with some damage and he will summon a big freaking servitor and a bunch of shanks to be protected by that freaking servitor. This is when you want to use a super or whatever you have because time is of the essence, y'all. And keep in mind that these, these shanks right here are going to have void shields. Okay, all right. Once the servitor's out, you can pick off the shanks all right, you can clear the shanks, and now it's time to lay some damage on Big Head Tannix's cousin over here, Cyrix. He'll take damage, and he's going to bounce to some other point on the map, and he's going to want to send more shanks at you, more servitors. Keep in mind that he will put up a whole bunch of freaking grenades that are just waiting to take you out in the middle, so... Take those out just so you don't try, like just trip in one because they are trip mine grenades. You get it? All right. So after you lay enough damage on him the first time and you take out that servitor and stuff, guess what he does? He summons another servitor with some more shanks on the opposite side of the room. That servitor and just work on it all the way from the back. See, if the turrets were here, you couldn't do that. But now that you take that one out, all right, your two servitors are down. Those are the two big servitors of the fight. Now you're gonna have all these shanks around. These have arc shields that he's gonna summon on this left and right sides by these stairs. They are gonna have arc shields. You got some solar shanks that came with that servitor in case you missed them. That's what's gonna be solar shields. The ones on the left and right by the stairs are gonna be arc shields. Then lay into the boss until he runs from you again. Guess what he did? He ran again. All right. Here we go. Arc shields, like I told you, on the opposite side now. To the left and right of you if you're standing in the middle. So you want to get rid of this. Hopefully you're getting drops on your weapons that you need to make this work. Keep your distance from the boss and just keep laying damage out there. Keep laying into the boss until he pulls an instant transmission. Once he does that the second time... You're going to have invisible vandals run out and try to chop a style you. So you definitely want to be careful with that because it doesn't look like they can get you pretty easily. But as you're getting sniped by these new snipers that also pop out in the back. Look at them. See, it can be an easy one two punch with a sniper and one of these freaking vandals running up on you. So take out your snipers, prioritize them, prioritize those invisible vandals. Once they're out, you got the boss sitting here once again and a few shanks overhead with arc shields. But once you get them down to that last third of a bar, do a little bit more damage and he's going to do something. And now he done did it. He's going to summon two freaking tanks. All right, you want to make sure you are not in view of one of these tanks because they both will be targeting you if you are in view. All right, so take your time, right? Make sure you got your back and one of your sides fully covered and watch that laser. Do not play with that laser or that cannon. All right, so when you that happens, that's when you want to come in, try to lay into this dude with whatever heavy you got. And don't get hit by those grenades. He will summon more grenades, by the way. Okay, so I try to run over here for cover. And I try not to stay there too long. And I go back to going for precision spots. Okay, so I'm just taking my time. There you go. One tank down. Beautiful. Now it gets a lot easier with the second tank. Because now you can just focus on one tank. And again, stay mobile. Don't let those cannons get you. Okay, once you got both land tanks, this is pretty much your last phase of the fight. They're gonna summon more dregs, kinda in the same spots that they were when you started this encounter. And it's gonna be on both sides. Difference is, as you can see, they're gonna have a bunch of red circles coming from the sky. Cause guess what? The boss went all Transformers on you and is now trying to laser you every couple seconds. 
So whenever you see red around you, get the freak out of there. That thing will destroy you. You have a couple more shanks in addition to those drag spawn. And you're going to have some snipers in the front left and front right of that big platform that you need to watch out for. So at this part, you really want to stay. You really want to stay mobile if you're not going to be all the way in the back shooting. Because even if you are all the way in the back shooting, you can still get taken out easy. So like I said, get these snipers out of here. Focus them always. Always focus snipers when you can because they will pick you off as you're running around. Okay, you got some more invis bandles on the, the middle part of the map as well. So you wanna keep an eye out for them. Now, after you clear up most of the stuff around you, I usually try to leave one shank up just so they don't keep respawning on me, but I don't have a bunch of shanks shooting at me. Once that is the case, I wanna stay mobile, but I wanna focus on the servitor. And I want to get the servitor out here as much as I can. All right, once you get the servitor out, it is literally you and this damn brig. So this is when you want to start busting out all the supers you can, but still dodge those red circles when you're in your super like a well, because they will still be able to kill you. So you just want to come back and forth. This is when you want to prioritize heavy ammo if you got extra damage from something like a well. All right, you just want to pop off that cover. Once you pop off the cover on this freaking brig, it's going to be so much easier. Okay, once you finally get that cover off, with something like Polaris Lance, this gets a lot easier. But you still have to be careful with those red circles of death. But if you just keep attacking that precision spot, he will finally blow up. And you gotta make sure that you kill any remaining enemies. Zero enemies. And once you see our homie the captain here, Mithrax, show up, or Misrax, you are good to go. Congratulations. You got your outbreak perfected. All right, this is gonna be much easier with homies. I did it solo, but if I can do it solo, so can you. I hope this guy helps. If it did, please subscribe. Please go ahead and drop a like, hit the bell, and comments. Please give comments of more tips for other people. Please give comments on how to make it faster, and comments, and let me know if it helped you out at all. Please and thank you. Thanks, y'all. I'm out.